What's up guys, welcome back to, not welcome back, welcome to a quote unquote new series. Last time I did not record, so now I'm recording this. First regular video, not a live stream anymore. So, here we go. We are the Cole Phelps in traffic, possibly got promoted because I don't remember where I was. We finished the regular off patrol desks, technically. So, this is Eleanor, if anybody doesn't know, because I know there's people that don't know this. So, here we go. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. So, you coming? Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. It can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. This is where you sprang from. If they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood?
Jungle Drums, Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? you ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? I have a drugged up 15 year old girl and you have chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible By for what way, goes everyone, on here. By the way, I'm not um, blurring, not blurring, um, beeping out the cuss words because YouTube can go um, demonetize me, not demonetize me, just age stick. Restrict me for some reason. I don't know. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You have something on him, and now you're going to rat him out to McAfee's goons. And how do you figure that, brain boy? Bishop. He always made out like he was better than everybody else. He was no better than any of the other big shot creeps who came in here. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Ballard was out, then she's in, then Bishop visits this place and goes crazy. You're in it somehow. These clowns fuck young girls on the couch. The girls think they're going to be stars. They really put their backs into it. It's a price they're willing to pay. None of them will press charges. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. 
We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. I don't think they like your little pep talk, Bukowski. Look, get it back. See him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Eleven K calling KGPL, requesting assistance at eight in Francisco. The abandoned movie set. My partner is pursuing suspect on foot. Code three. KGPL. We're trying to help you, Bishop. This is all a big mistake.
It's us or McAfee's boys. Your choice. I didn't do anything. Bishop, that's enough. That girl made it all up. Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. It's June Ballard. She's blackmailing me. Bishop, move another inch and you're dead. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need, we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. It's this way. Here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Weapons on Come the on, ground. Now. Ah. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. Really, the best McAfee's got? The statue there. There's a ladder leading to the ground. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Get them over here, I'll cover you. Come on! The cavalry's here! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. You have to get me out of here! Follow me. We need to get him to the car. For the Get him to the God, car! I, I can cover that. you from here! You're almost there! what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer and all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statch rape and attempted murder, so he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You've developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. 
You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. Again, sorry Good guys for starting it earlier before you guys can watch, but okay. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Jazz Cole, the hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. By the way, this is 1940, so you will hear you some like a things. table, Roy. What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, yeah, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? Okay, guys, I'm not editing it, but I'm just saying homicide gets a little graphic, so be ready. And I'll probably be blurring it out, so most of this stuff, like this.
right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. I recognize that guy from the papers. He's a cop. Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Sad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean? Jesus, Phelps! What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. We any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. We're taking the next left. Take the next right. Take the next right. Okay, at the next corner, hang a right. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Roman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's known locally as the Moors. 
You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. What now? First things first. Better speak to the reporting patrolman. What can you tell me about us. the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to come. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Cause of death? It could be the head in. Hmm. Interesting. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, X. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. You catch all the good ones, Phelps. The victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Out of the way. This report doesn't need a dozen pictures of your pinstriped ass. Not sure this means much. Circumstantial. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Bomba Club? Why steal a table lighter? Can we get to the Bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this.
The werewolf? For my money, copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. I've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in the corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of storm. Or some opportunity for him reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You well, know, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder it was them, locusts. Where did Cole, come on! Where do you think the werewolf killer is? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. That cop. What's your beef with this guy, Phelps? <laughs> LAPD, police emergency. Can't do this. I'm sorry, madam. Police officer, I need your Is car. Is this legal, officer? These people! Just go easy, Phelps. My egg. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, 
five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. Sam has taken me to Pompeii. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... House officer. Was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. How about a name? This is a murder beef, McColl. You don't want any adverse publicity for this place, do you? If I had names, I would give them to you. I like Celine. I'd like to see you get whoever did this. Clear on that? Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Was he ever violent with her? Celine came in here last night looking like she'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. McCall, you said you liked her, and yet you've been no help at all. I want Celine's address. 142 North Union. Now get the hell out of my bar. <laughs> my eggs were running. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood.
Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. It's worse than I could ever have imagined. Easy! Hey, come on! Get the point. And at the next junction, you shut your trap. Could we try not killing the people that pay our salaries? This ain't normal behavior, Cole. You should keep your eyes open! Wake up! Try the back door. Wait here a second. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Size nines. Above average for a lady. Burglar used a pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Selene and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Tiffany? The rest of the stuff is junk. I might explain the missing ring. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. 
Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North. Regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Said I had to go back, Doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. Circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate, but you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal you with it. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Okay, everyone, we're going to stop right there. We'll leave off, and I might have an episode by today, but it's going to be my first time editing. If anybody has any things, to let me know so I can try. See you guys next time.